those two? Okay. Congratulations, guys. Great game. Press conference for the first four in the first game here for Wednesday. The Wright State Raiders at 93-82 over Bryant. The Raiders will travel to San Diego on Friday to play number one seed Arizona at 727. Joining us on the far end of the table is Tanner Holden, 37 points, 11 rebounds. Grant Basile's in the middle. He had 14 points and eight rebounds tonight. And uh, head coach of Wright State, uh, Scott Nagy. Coach, if you could open up our press conference with a statement. Well, I mean, it, <clears throat> it was frantic. It was frantic. It was a frantic paced game. We haven't had many teams this year come at us like that just after every make, every miss, every turnover. We didn't take very good care of the ball. I told the players emotionally, you know, it was such an unbelievable crowd. And I just didn't want them to be too high, burn themselves out. And then I didn't do a very good job of getting myself under control either. And, and so I wasn't a very good example. But, you know, they, they, they really test you defensively. Uh, I thought we rebounded the ball really well. I think, I, I don't have a stat sheet up here, but I think we beat them by 10 on the glass. And I, I know, I always tell our players, uh, we, in my coaching career, which is a lot of years now, uh, yeah, we've been by 10. Uh, in, in my coaching career, I, 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 pro, I probably coach teams that have lost games that have out-rebounded their opponents by 10 less than five times. And so it's, it's a good indicator of how hard you're playing, how good your defense is, those kind of things. And so, uh, you know, and, and, and they really come at you. They, 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 they go at the offensive rebounding, and, you know, and we had 13. So we did a nice job. I thought offensively we were good. The guys off the bench, you know, gave us a great lift. Uh, Keaton and Andrew gave us a great lift. I thought uh, played well, and obviously, you know, we got to the got to the free throw line a lot, and you know that's part of our deal. That's what we like to do. We like to get to the free throw line, and and uh, we scored a lot of points from there. We'll open up questioning for our student athletes first. Let's go to the second row on the inside. Oh yeah, Tom Archdeacon and Dayton uh, Tanner. Just talk about kind of season the moment tonight and stepping up and, and, and playing your best? Uh, yeah, you know, I thought we did a great job, you know, just game planning. Uh, this team, uh, we knew they were going to come out and, and attack us, uh, you know, in their zone. Uh, I thought we played, you know, Northern Kentucky uh, in the Horizon League Championship. I thought their zone was, was a really good test for us. And, you know, coming out against Bryant tonight, I thought we did a great job of staying moving, uh, moving the ball and not getting stagnant. Uh, and, you know, we were hitting shots, uh, so that's definitely a plus in the zone. Third row on the outside. Uh, for all three of you, Jack Pohl, WDTN, um, historically, first NCAA victory, and you do it in the city, or right around the city you played for. Uh, I mean, you knew this could happen, so uh, what are the emotions, and what does this mean to hear, let's go Raiders chant when that delay was happening? What are, take us how you feel. Grant, would you like to start? Yeah, obviously, that was a pretty cool feeling. Um, we had a really good turnout. Our fans have been fantastic all year. Um, obviously, it wasn't a crazy far trip for them to make this today. But, uh, yeah, they're fantastic. It, it was pretty neat to get the, the first one for our school um, and in our backyard. That, that makes it pretty special. Tanner? Uh, yeah, I think it was definitely a good uh, booster for us. Uh, you know, whenever we're down uh, emotionally, I thought the crowd did a great job, you know, being energetic, be getting into it. Uh, and it was definitely a great, great turnout. You know, it's, it's awesome to be able to uh, do this, like Grant said, in your backyard and experience it with all the fans who come to the games and at the Nutter Center. And it was just a great, great game tonight. First row. Uh, Doug Harris, Keaton Daily News. What did you guys think of at halftime? It, it felt like you really played well in the first half, yet you're only up two. Um, what did you do to survive the, you know, the halftime speech or whatever it was and then turn it on in the second half and take control? Tanner, you can start. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it, it was definitely a halftime. You know, it felt like we were playing great, but we we're only up two. So uh, it was definitely kind of a, a shocking thing. You know, you feel like you're just on high, uh, but you're only up one possession. And I thought we did a great job, you know, coming out, uh, getting a few stops, getting the momentum, swinging our way. Uh, and, you know, 
especially in a tournament like this, uh, the magic of March, anyone can come out and get hot. And I thought we did a great job just defensively staying down. You know, at the end, it kind of got away from us. Uh, and like I said before, it kind of got, um, you get excited, you get, you get frantic, uh, you know, you celebrate the win. Uh, and I felt like we, towards the end, we were just too excited to kind of get to the win. Uh, we didn't stick to our principles like coach and all of them have talked to us uh, throughout the week and throughout the season. I was, I, I was uh, thankful that we had more time uh, at the halftime because it gave me time just to calm myself down because I was not happy. I was <clears throat> not happy at all that we were only up two points. We should have been up ten. Uh, there were several plays we didn't finish. Uh, so, yeah, I, I didn't think defensively we didn't get back like we should have. And so, yeah, I was thankful we had a little more time there so I could get myself calmed down so I didn't just go in and explode on the players. And, I, you know, I rarely do that anyway, but I, I was fairly turned up tonight anyway. A couple more questions for our student athletes. We'll go to the front row here. This one for Coach Nagy and the players, if you guys want to we'll, talk about we'll, it. We'll start with the student athletes. Coach will come okay. here, but just the well, student athletes right now. This one for Tanner and Grant then, you know. Coach talked about yesterday, Tim Finke guarding Peter Kiss for the majority of the game, and Kiss didn't have a very efficient game. Just talk about the job that Finke did stopping the nation's best scorer. Yeah, I mean, uh, he was 11 for 25 um, on Tim. Tim forced four turnovers. Uh, Tim, Tim made his job pretty tough. I mean, he's a good offensive player, obviously, you lead the nation in scoring, um, but Tim, Tim made him work for everyone. Uh, there's a couple that weren't that he got that weren't on Tim, just some bad miscues um, defensively for us, but. Tim's a fantastic defender. We've, we've known that all year, um, and he showed that tonight. He, he made him work for it. Last question for our student athletes, Doug. Doug Harrison, Daily News. Uh, you guys get to enjoy this for a little while, but you've got to turn the pr page pretty quickly. Just your thoughts on Arizona. I imagine they're probably a Purdue caliber opponent, which you guys have played before. Uh, you know, you don't have much time to really celebrate. You know, we're going to celebrate, you know, probably on the flight, but right after that, you know, you really got to turn it around. So if you sit on this for too long, you're just going to just kind of live on the high. But I feel like, uh, you know, Arizona is predicted to win in a lot of brackets. Uh, so it'll definitely be a fun matchup for us. Uh, and I feel like, you know, stick to our principles that we've done all year that have got us the wins on the defensive end. You know, offense will come and go. But, you know, if our defense is, is solid, then we'll, we'll definitely make it a game. Uh, and, you know, I think we're all confident. You know, we're going in there to win. Like I said before, we're not coming in just for the experience of the March Madness. Uh, you know, we really want to win. We really want to make a name for our, our school, ourselves, uh, and this program. Grant, your thoughts on your next opponent? Yeah, I think uh, obviously they'll, they'll be a tough matchup, but uh, I mean we're we're not here just to just to enjoy this one. Um, we're, we'll look ahead and we'll get ready to go tonight. Um, and we'll be ready to go. Grant Tanner, congratulations! Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining us. Good luck Friday. All right, we will uh, we'll continue here with questions for Coach. Coach, I do want to go back to a question that was asked earlier, just about the atmosphere. Great, it was. <clears throat> you know, I mean. I'm tr I don't think since I've been here we we played in front of an atmosphere like that with with that many people cheering for us and so uh, I, it, it was a tremendous experience for all of us but but I know for our players something they'll never forget it, we were obviously very fortunate to get to play in Dayton uh, and it, you know at, at some point it feels a little unfair but you know I mean it, it just it's the way it worked out and I was thankful that if we were going to be a 16 seed we would get that chance and so. I know it was great for our fans. I know they had a great experience too. So, and I'm I'm thankful we played played okay. Let's go to the second row. And a question for Coach. Uh, yeah, Tom Archdeacon Dayton. Uh, Scott, talk a little bit about Tanner Holden, the, the way he uh, carried you tonight, and just uh, I mean, you had a lot of stars, but he was yeah he was yeah, and you know, and, and obviously Grant struggled. Uh, he just did. He, he just had one of those nights where he struggled, and, and they really made him a focus. And uh, Tanner picked him up. Tanner was, you know, he was super active all night. He just was, he, uh, you know, it's, it's like the last eight minutes of the Northern Kentucky game, Tanner was that way the entire night. He was aggressive. He was cutting. He rebounded the ball tremendously. Defensively, uh, you know, he was on Hurtado, who is – Probably their, you know, I'm, I'm sure their coaches would tell you he's he's the guy that runs their team, but he's not a big scorer, and so Tanner helped as much as he could. Uh, just you know, really really played a good game, had a couple steals, played well, and I think, you know, really, I mean, just just looking at Trey's stats, you know, 21 points. Trey's been sick all day. He he's been after the game here. He's in there throwing up. Uh, he's not felt well. He got up this morning. It was that way. 
and uh, uh, you know he just was was low energy, but you know played tremendous, played played unbelievable defense uh, on Pride. You know who was getting 18 a game, he got eight. You know he got in some foul trouble, but you know Trey is Trey's our guy. I tell you, I was proud of him. Third, third row outside. Coach, just getting back to the uh, the Jack Paul WDTN. Uh, getting back to the his, historic victory, this was what doesn't matter if it's in Dayton or where it was. Uh, Wright State is now an NCAA tournament winning team. The significance of that to you and to this program? And well, it's the first thing I said to the players. It's it's not happening in the Division One era. I mean, this this is the first one, and and it will always be the first one, and it'll it'll be something. And you know where we did it, how we did it, all those things. I mean, the, the, it's a lifetime moment for these guys, and and it is for me too. Uh, but but I get I get a lot more opportunities to have those than they do, and and so mostly I'm just happy for them. Question here, front row, on the near side. A couple more questions here for Coach. Coach, just talk about the job that Tim uh, Andre Johnson made in 24/7 yeah, on yeah. Coach, just talk about the job that Tim Finke did on Peter Kiss tonight. You know, I, I've been saying it all year, and everybody knows it. He's our Tim's our MVP. Uh, uh, you know, I, I never worry about how many points a guy scores. You know, I always tell our players, it's it's how many shots are we going to make him take. And, and Tim did a great job of keeping him off the free throw line because he, I mean, he is a handful. I mean, he is an absolute handful, and he has complete freedom, and it's a tough guard. And, uh, you know, he obviously got help from people, but it, it was primarily his responsibility. And, and uh, you know, everybody that, that w on our team would tell you, that Tim is our guy, and if we could ever get everybody to Tim's level, we'd be in ph phenomenal defensively. First row. Greg Harris, State and Daily News. Uh, Scott, um, in your history, you played a like a three and four and five seats, but never a one seat or even a two seat. What do you expect from Arizona and that caliber of an opponent? Yeah, I appreciate you reminding me. I know. <laughs> Joy victory tonight, but yeah, Tanner says <laughs> it'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, there. Uh, I don't know a lot about him because I don't look ahead. I heard on the TV the other day, even before we were going to play him, somebody said they're the second biggest team in the country. That's obviously going to be a problem. You know, the question will be, can you know, can we get shots around the basket? Can we uh, can we rebound the ball? All of those kind of things. And then you know, can we guard them in the post? And so, uh, you know, uh, Coach Bray has that scout, and he's already he's already sent uh, uh, ahead to me. Uh, in my email, you know, the, the offense and defense parts of it, I haven't looked at it yet. I'll have a chance to look at it here on the bus and, and on the plane a little bit. Last last question, far side in the back. Yeah, Coach, uh, Adam Campbell, Wright State Guardian. How does it feel to have your top scoring duo take down Brian's top scoring duo when they were, you know, leading the nation in yeah, scoring? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, honestly, I didn't even know that until I saw it on the TV yesterday. And I, I, I don't care about that. Like, I don't look at stats. I don't care. It doesn't feel any way to me. Uh, just uh, you know, I, I'm proud of our players. They, you know, it's not just those two guys for them either. I can tell you that those guys, uh, you know, their, their their duo would would tell you that their other players are the ones that help them do that. And so there was no focus on that or any of that. Uh, and I don't pay attention to that stuff. And and we're just happy to beat a good basketball team. That's how I feel. Horizon League champions again will play on Friday against Arizona. Coach, a historic win. Congratulations. Thank you.